What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Michael Ray Bauer, giving you a movie reveal, or reveal, review, that I never thought I would have watched. But somehow, I came upon this weird movie, or not well-known movie, and I watched it. And I want to give you guys my review. But first, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up, that like button, Hit that subscribe button. Consider becoming a member of this channel for early and exclusive content. And there is donation portals down below if you feel like supporting me because I'm struggling. I hope you find that my channel is the realest on YouTube. Might not be the funnest. Might not be the best. But my ass gives too much information. I'm a TMI bitch. This is a movie review. All right, what is the movie I saw that I didn't think I was going to watch that somehow crossed my path and I was like, huh, I'll try it. It's a movie called Sex Appeal. All right, I was horny looking up porn movies and this movie popped up. Not a porn movie, no. It was called Sex Appeal. I don't know who it stars, but it's a group of young kids that are just about to graduate high school, and there's this one girl, she's like a, a genius, like a intellect, and she doesn't know how to compass her way through regular life. And she's in this tournament, I forgot the name of it, Semicon, Semitcon, where she she won it the previous year, and she's excited, it's her prom, she's so excited for it while the prom is going on, and this event or convention they give a tactic that somebody has to do and to win the first place prize and she always wants to win it thinks she can win it so the assignment was to create an app that's right a phone app a computer app but to create a app that solves can we say that solved solves a problem in their own life. So they need to create an app that solves a problem within their own life that they have. Well, she thought she was perfect. She couldn't think of a problem. Then all of a sudden her friends around her started talking about sex and, and doing all that other stuff, plus her boyfriend. That's right, she had a boyfriend. He's been calling her on the phone, trying to have, you know, phone course with her. And he's also been leading up to the event where they go to the, the convention. And he's always the winner for the men's category. But he technically is telling her, when you show up to the event, we have a hotel. Let's get our freak on. And she's a virgin. So she decides she's going to make an application to solve her problem of how to have S-E-X. That's going to be her app. The Sex App Peel is the name of the movie. Sex App Peel. Sex Appeal is the name of the movie. So now she always has a best friend that she experiments on with all her intellectual science and studies. And they grew up together. They're best friends. They hang out. They do everything. But at one point in time, the best friend wanted to become a little bit more than best friends with her. And it didn't work. But he still stayed best friends with her. But now she needs to create this application to teach her how to have sex or how to go about having it and what will make it feel good the first time, because she's never done it. So she goes to her friends, the other students, for advice, and you get Paris Jackson. Michael Jackson's daughter is in this movie, giving sex advice, and she's the slut. Michael Jackson's daughter is the slut in this movie. Then, you know, she gets advice from everybody of varying degrees. It's kind of funny. Kind of funny. Then she goes on experimentation using her best friend as a guinea pig, you know, but then are they going to fall in love? Is he falling in love? Is she falling in love? What does love have to do with sex? 
What's love got to do? Got to do with it. What's love? But a second hand emotion. What's love got to do? Got I don't know. Who needs a heart when a heart can be broken? Rest in peace, Tina. That being said, it's a decent movie. I enjoyed the acting from everybody. Everybody's beautiful, good looking, and young. Uh but I felt like in today's world of PDF files, in today's world of PDF files, I don't know the actual ages of the actor. I'm assuming they're over 18. But they were presented as 16-year-olds, maybe 15, but I'm going to say 16 or 17, about to graduate. Maybe that means 18. I'm not quite sure. But still, it just felt a little weird when they were doing these experiments. And the stuff these kids were talking about were straight out of porn movies. They were straight out of... <laughs> and I'm on screen going, they're in high school. They're juniors. Is that person a senior? Are they 18? You get it? It just messed with me. I didn't know if it was appropriate. And then you got to think about the adult producers behind the movie. Putting these young actors into these situations and positions. And the director seemed to linger on the eyes and the mouth. You know, Dan Schneider would linger on the feet. But this director or producers, they would linger on the eyes and the face and the mouth for their emotions during these sexual experiments. In my opinion, a little too long. Were they getting off on it? Were they enjoying it? Were they like looking at a young girl make these intense emotions? I know it was just acting. Or was it? I don't know. So it's a little weird, but it was supposed to be a rom-com. And they didn't show any body parts. I don't know the rating of it. But back in the 80s, we used to watch movies like Porky's. And, you know, all the kids and the guys and whatever would go on an adventure just to see a couple of movies. So it felt a little more innocent. Even though this one didn't show any body parts, they spoke about them directly. And they kind of had an interesting thing when the girl was giving the guy a hand Boy, I need a job. Um, that instead of showing the actual physical functions in the room, all of a sudden they're on a spaceship and they're touching poles or they're doing something else. You know, like, so it's mimicking what they're doing in real life, but they're giving it another scenery or direction where you know what they're doing, but it doesn't look as grotesque or as wild or sexualized as it does in person so they do it in another scenario so they jump out of it it was interesting but i don't think it added to the to the movie um some of times some of it just seemed a little bit not funny and it was meant to be funny how do you take a very serious sexual situation with teenagers and then try to make it funny. Well, they did a good job with stuff like American Pie. They did a good job with movies like that. This movie didn't do that. It seemed too intense. Too real. Meaning, the acting was that great, that it was too intense. It's kind of like the original actor that was going to play Marty McFly in a comedy movie where he was too real and too intense. And they're like, wow, this is getting scary. This is getting real. Uh, we got to go get Michael J. Fox. We got to get Michael J. Fox. Your ass is too good of an actor. We need to have some fun. This shit is fun. What was that? Something liquid coming out. We need to have fun. So in my opinion, the actors were too, at those specific moments, too real. It just, it was good acting. It just became too real, and it became less like fun. 
And that's my review of the movie. I don't know if you guys have watched it. Go check it out. It's called Sex Appeal. I recommend you only watch it if you're over 21. Um, but the truth is, it would probably work with the 18, 19, 17-year-olds. They'd be like, oh, I get it. Well, that's what, sure. that's what we talk about in real life. But for me, I don't know. It's a little intense, a little weird. Should have been more funny. But I stayed around for the whole movie. I didn't shut it off. So I guess I was waiting for the happy ending. Pun intended. Does it have a happy ending? Was that good acting? I don't know. Check it out. It's called Check Your Pill. I believe it's on Prime Video or Hulu or I don't know anymore. But remember, if you have any movies that you think I would like and I would enjoy for me to review on a future uh, video, please let me know down below. Um, and if I do that, I'd like to shout you out. So please let me know some of your hidden gems, all the mainstream stuff I know about. I'm really into sci-fi. I'm really into romantic comedies. I miss real comedies. There hasn't been a real comedy since the 2000s, like with Dude, Where's My Car? Hey, who is in there? Since Evolution, hey, who is in there? But, you know, stuff like that. But let me know your thoughts down below. I appreciate you guys. I love you all. And more videos to come. Hit, put a like on this if you enjoyed me being silly and stupid. Talking about movies. And other than that, I don't know what else to say. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed, stay humble. Hate can't hurt happy. Try to be happy. It's hard.